Last week marked the fifth year of Elaine and I being together, so we decided to spend our anniversary in the wild, in a luxury tent at Shy Hills. While we waited for our guide to take us to our tent, interviews happened. <laughs> okay, Martin, good. I'm excited. I would, I'm curious. To see how the tent is and everything. Yeah. yeah, me too. Our manager said that our guide will be here in 15 minutes. Actually, <laughs> 10 minutes. And it's, it's, I said it's, 10 minutes. Yeah, and it's, it's like 17 minutes now. Is it 17? Yes. Oh. Let's just say before you started even talking to Elaine <laughs> in your impromptu interview, it was like another five minutes and you guys spoke for 13 minutes. Mm -hmm. So where's, where's our guide? He's coming. He's coming. I just spoke to you. Are you, are you, are you working here? He said, yes. I'm passed over. <laughs> okay. You'll be here. So where do you live in the park? No, I don't live in the park. I live outside of the park. I think I'm one of the few workers here who live outside of the park. It's good to get some distance from where you work, no? Yes, so from from here to where I live is about a 30 minutes drive. Oh wow. Yes. But everybody lives in the park. I am one of the few people who live outside the park. But everybody else lives in the park. And was that a choice or that's just how they no, it for I you. mean, I'm, I'm supposed to be living in the park, but um, it was a personal choice. Yeah. That I, because when I started working here, you see, I hadn't worked in an environment like this before, so I wasn't so sure mm -hmm. if I was going to be able to adjust. Yeah. So I decided to live out of the park, but I think now if I'm given the chance, I'd want to come and live okay. here, but um, that's not a 100% um, decision that I've made. Yeah. But, I think now compared to the previous time that I was, I was a little scared, like the trees, <laughs> yeah, the um, baboons, <laughs> the baboons especially. Yeah, I can imagine. The baboons especially. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't so sure. Sometimes you are here when they come here a lot. They just go and jump on the roof and yeah. they go jumping and making noise. I can't imagine sleeping in my room and a, bam a baboon jumping on the roof. And I, I think you'll get used to it, no? Now I'm used to it. Yeah. That's why I mentioned that if I'm given the chance to come and live in the park, I think that it won't be much of a worry like it was previously. So finally, our guide came and led us to the tent on his motorbike. Now, I've been here before, and I'll still definitely recommend an SUV for these trips, as the road is not very friendly for low cars like mine. The sun was setting and we didn't want to miss it, so on we go. We enjoyed it watching for a while hey. and headed back to chill on the deck of our tent. How are you? It's so quiet, eh? Yeah. Aside from the music. Unfortunately, I didn't film a tour of the tent as it was dark and we just wanted to be present and enjoy the stay. Of course, we didn't want to miss the sunrise if the sunset was that good, so we set alarms to wake up and enjoy the view. As part of the whole stay package, you can choose any of the activities at the park and we chose to go for a hike. We chose the Sayu Cave and the Mogo Hill this time. To the cave. Within this, the warriors hide at the top of the rock. Oh, yeah, yeah. View the area. So the chief is inside the cave. When they see the enemies coming, they just inform those at the down. Then they open the gate here for them to enter. And now those are the top two stools yeah, yeah, yeah. to get their enemies. Also, were they also there or only? Yeah, we are going to climb to that ah. defense group. Okay. Our 17 families at the top of the hills. 
So it may be they send somebody to the other group. They have a sign. They use leaves for their mom. Let me give you an example. Like this. Huge. So that if the enemies see them or the warriors see the person coming, you know you are part of the group. Yeah. So that is a sign. Was it a particular leaf? Because yeah, they have they, a particular tree. Uh -huh, because if the, the enemies also knew that they use leaves, they could just also pick any leaf. Yeah, they have a particular tree, and that tree they name a kidney tree. Yeah, according to them, they brought that tree from Israel, and when they are coming, they bring that tree. So if you go into their old communities, you see the trees there. By down here, we don't get them. Okay, we go down okay. this way. But you can just slide. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Then let me go first and then you come and look. Now this wasn't as tiring as my Here Were Your Experience. We really liked it and our guide, George, made sure that we didn't miss any of the memories. It was really fun and we thoroughly enjoyed it and would recommend for anybody who wants to enjoy a few nights in the wild.